Hi guys, I am so excited today. I'm not sure why. <laughs> I think I'm just excited because I got up and it's a beautiful sunny day and I got a chance to go downstairs, do my workout and I have nothing planned. It's so exciting. You know, sometimes we just really need to have nothing planned. Anyway, so right now I am doing a jigsaw puzzle and uh, it's part of my buy and sell thing. I really enjoy doing jigsaw puzzles. My mom got me into it. She is amazing. And so I buy jigsaw puzzles, I do them and then I resell them. So this one is of Santa painting cars. <laughs> So I'm doing that here now, and right now I'm just picking out all the edge pieces I just started, and then, uh, and also listening to John as he practices his guitar, which is really nice. And it's wonderful having a day when we're both off and it's quiet. Um, kids are at school, they'll be home soon for lunch, and yeah, just having a good time. And I was also just, you know, making plans for this week and photography. He's home. <laughs> he saw us inside, so he's knocking on the door instead of using the key. Hi, Eli. Hello. Yeah, I'm, he's looking at me like, what are you doing? Uh, yeah, I'm filming. <laughs> Is it okay if I use your likeness on my video? Oh, yeah. Eli, make sure you try Say hello. Your... Hello. Uh -huh. What? So on Monday, I'm very excited. I am going to be going to a waterfall with a friend. And it's a really nice waterfall and the fall colors are amazing right now. So I'm excited to do that and to hopefully film it, have some nice photos to show you. I'm just gonna show you like a couple of things around the house that, um, I don't know, just kind of, you know, where does my inspiration for photography come from? It comes from my kind of, I don't know, interesting personality, I suppose. <laughs> I love to find pleasure in little things and the way things look, the way things feel, the emotions that they evoke. And so I'm just gonna show you some things around my house that uh, are kind of, I think are cool and um, yeah, and then we'll we'll talk a little bit more. So this is the Pillsbury Doughboy and his little family hey. of friends. Huh? My name's John. <laughs> John's like, yeah, my name's not Pillsbury Doughboy, it's John. <laughs> so uh, he has, you know, a little salt and pepper shaker and a um, little bowl of spoons and stuff, a nice hat. That's not his real hat, his real hat's under there. And uh, our son really likes him. And we tend to be collectors in this house, just of things that we really like. My oldest is a collector of Nintendo and old retro games. And uh, I like to just, well, mostly I collect laundry, but <laughs> I'm always trying to clean that up. <laughs> So anyway, and also dishes, yeah, so don't look at the, the table there. So the Pillsbury Doughboy, that is one of our guests in our home, and um, I just bought these yummy Christmas cookies. I'm gonna show them to you. I feel like you could get a good macro shot there, especially of that green, uh, what do you call it? Uh, brain freeze. You know, not glitter, food glitter. <laughs> Sprinkles, there we go, sprinkles. <laughs> now, I just, uh, I love to go thrift store shopping and I just bought this cute little boot because it's cute. It's pretty much why, let me just show it to you. And you are correct, you see a second Pillsbury Doughboy there um, because Funny story how we ended up with two Pillsbury Doughboys, but uh, it's a long one, so I won't bore you with it. <laughs> Here's another fun thing in my kitchen is my old phone. It actually works. However, it's uh, <laughs> because it's got a mechanical ring, 
it would sometimes knock our internet off and so we don't tend to use it much but cool <laughs> so i also have been a little lax in getting these puzzles done because summer has been fantastic and i've been riding my bike a lot and uh, so i have a closet full of puzzles plus uh, what you see accumulating here in my living room. Now, jigsaw puzzles I actually find a form of inspiration for photography and uh, just composition. Like look at the amazing way that an image that has been selected for a jigsaw puzzle has been composed and you'll have some ideas. Some of them are truly fantastic. So this one's called The Call of the Wild. Let's see. So it has obviously been artistically uh, altered and rendered, but when you look at it, you see there's like a perfect balance of colors, uh, a perfect balance composition, and it's really inspiring. It's just so beautiful. And you know what's awesome about doing jigsaw puzzles? So the awesome thing about doing jigsaw puzzles, and one of the reasons why I would actually recommend it, is that as you're doing it, you're going piece by piece through a fantastic image. And so you really see what's there. And you start to see what uh, pieces make up the entire whole composition. And so it's uh, for me, it's a form of meditation. I love to pick an image that really lifts me up and uh, as I do the puzzle it just it, it gets inside me but when you're you're also studying composition and getting inspired for photography uh, it's a way to really really not gloss over and only look at the broad image but to really break it down and see each and every little piece of the puzzle which translates to when you're in a scene seeing each and every little element and how you can arrange them in the frame so uh, that is <laughs> one of the things I love about jigsaw puzzles and why I think it's relevant to photography and uh, yeah so waterfall on Monday and it's gonna be fantastic we're supposed to have good weather and I'm so excited and uh, I hope to see you there.